Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Memorize IDI by IDI Creative. This iPhone education app uses a mnemonic calculator to make remembering numbers and dates a snap using a method of processing any number into a memorable image for better memory retention. Now when you first open the app, the image of the mnemonic calculator and the memorize function will not be unlocked. Tap here on learn. You must learn the code and this learning method before you can actually access the mnemonic calculator. Tap here on explanation. This learning method was designed by a French mathematician and astronomer back in 1644. There are four overall steps, but three that you'll have to complete before being able to start the actual memorization process for anything you want number-wise. That is learn, take some tests, learn the examples, and then you can unlock the mnemonic calculator. Learning here, you're going to learn numbers from 0 to 9, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Then you have to take beginner and intermediate tests, several of them, and here they say two each before you can unlock it. And then you have to go into each of the three examples and spend some time understanding them, and then you'll be able to start using this memory method. As we go into code, this is the basis for the learning method. The numbers 0 to 9 each have two letters that reference them so that this is how you're going to make your images. So in this case, 0 is referenced by S and Z. You use the arrows to go left and right and to learn all of the letters 0 to 9. 1 is T and D, 2 and H, 3 and W, and again we'll go through here for RX. 5 is L and double L, then you see 6 is G and J, 7 CK, 8 FV, and 9 is BP. Now we'll go out of learn and we can go into the testing process and there are three different or four different test modes, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. I'll show you beginner. Okay, so H is there, you just have to figure out which number corresponds to H. 2, 3 is M, W again, 3. That's 5. X is going to be 4, because it's RX. And then 6 is J, C7, D is 1, B9, think, yeah, 9, Z, 0. V is 8, K, 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 7. G, hmm, tough one. Now, if you miss, you got to start all over to take the test again. I believe it's 6. F, 8, R, 4. So when you complete a test, that's what you're going to get, and that is how you do that in the beginner mode. Now, intermediate's a little more challenging. Now you actually get a, 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 an image, and you get a three-letter word. In this case, they're not always going to be. That could be four, and you're going to have a couple of letters that are actually larger than the rest, and those are the letters you have to use to make the number. In this case, it's going to be, it looks like, uh, 89. And again, you'll go 1 to 15, and to pass this intermediate test, you have to get all 15, or you're going to start over. So LL is going to be 55. And again, this is the process of going through to learn the method. And it's actually, I picked this up rather quickly. I've only been working on this for probably a little bit over an hour and not full time. Let's see, R and S is going to be 40. Again, you'll go through here, and you'll figure this out after you do it for a while and you can see I'm actually taking the test so I'm not you know I'm not this isn't edited it's actually kind of a difficult process to learn but once you do it is a very beneficial process to learn how to memorize numbers now hold on see if we can do this yes so we keep on going again until you finish the test I'm gonna go back out here again advance and expert you can see expert now you're getting into a little bit you have time on it and you have a score as well so that is what you're going to be doing and in this case it's oil let's see they don't even give you the the words so you have to figure it out for yourself uh, using what you can think of by the image so this is where it gets really good at this is where it gets really hard is what I'm trying to say oil I'm not even sure let's go with five so there you go I know that's a hag only because I tried making a number in the mnemonic calculator and I thought it was which but it's not so it's hag and two H it's gonna be there you go so let's go back out of here and we'll go into the examples now I'm gonna have to put the phone in landscape mode for just a moment and there you can see the six examples that are supplied that you need to go through. There's a green 
outline on each one because I've already been through them. Now if I go into say pin number, everybody has a pin number or two in my case to remember. They give you the pin number, one, two, and you put it in and then you press the button there and when you do that, it's going to give you some images and you'll see the images are going to relate to the number. In this case, there are three images. So the 4O is going to be referenced to rays, and the UFO is going to be referenced to the 08, and the 38 is going to be referenced to mafia. Again, these are based on this learning method. Tap over here, and again, they give you some explanation on how to use the examples. So after you go through all three of those and unlock the learning mnemonic calculator, then you can go into Pictionary if you're not sure and you can study up on the images because you're going to be given images for your numbers and you need to know what they respond to. So if you tap on Manual, you can go through here and see all of the images. This means in, aim, and you can go through here because these are the images they're going to actually use in the learning process. Tap on here, we can go back here, head out here, and then let's go back to the front where we've unlocked the mnemonic calculator. Now we're going to go back in landscape mode and now I'll put a number in. Just let's put in uh, 911 and we'll put memorize. And so it's going to give us those two images to memorize that date, 9 and 11. And I'm not sure what that is. I have to go back into the manual Pictionary or the auto Pictionary because you can have them go by very fast in kind of a, a, a slideshow format but I'd have to go in and see. I'm guessing that's some type of a scooter or actually it could be mail. It just depends what those images are referenced to. That's how you use this application. So it's great for memorizing numbers, dates, phone numbers, addresses, uh, you name it. If you have a presentation that has a lot of numbers, maybe that's a great application. This is a great education app to help you memorize your delivery of those numbers, especially if you have a lot of them. This method is quick to learn. It's really not that hard. Up here in the top left, you actually have some settings, three different languages, Spanish, English, and French. You can learn more about the, the developers there. Tap on home. That's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.